Let us praise Jesus, everybody. Come on, it's crazy in the game. Like, I want to be Francis. Uh, Pastor Francis. And Francis and his wife. Pastor Francis. All the same from everywhere. I greet you all in Jesus' name. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord. I sat there and I'm so blessed. This one to be the days. And I was saying that uh, maybe we don't need a teaching session again because it's dinner is ready. And uh, it's almost four o'clock. Then I want everybody to come back early so we start early. Because I don't want my category to be early tonight. Amen, everybody. But, you know, um, technology is. You all agree? Yes, something is wrong with technology. Um, it is how technology is. And uh, one opponent speak about education. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if education is the key. I'm not sure. Just like the word that we preach from the public. Don't we preach from the public? Yeah. We'll preach against it. And people what? Still say, yeah. The teaching by the studies so it's not just how we should live for God and people do what? The opposite. So it's more than just educating a person. I think one has got to be really transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because the Bible says, with the mind, we serve God. And so, the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, and then all things become new. And uh, a lot of people have a passion for many things. And if you really have a passion for God, and the things of God, I believe we'll use technology for the right purpose. Yes. You agree with me? Yes. I, I, I firmly believe that. And let's speak about a couple of stuff. I'm not on Facebook. Personally, I am not on Facebook. The church has a Facebook page. But let's reason for a while. And let us be honest with ourselves. How many hours do we spend on Facebook? Okay, tonight is prayer meeting. It's Wednesday night. How many persons come to prayer meeting on a Wednesday night? Good question. But if you really check seriously how many persons on a prime meeting night, or maybe a Sunday night, I'm not going back to church tonight because I'm tired. How many, how many hours do we really spend on Facebook? Am I talking to some real people here? So my thing is Pastor Francis. If you can spend one hour on, I mean moderate, on Facebook, one hour. Well, you can't spend one hour in prayer. We are seeing a generation in the body of Christ that don't pray. Don't spend time in prayer. Don't give over themselves to prayer. And so, you, you, you call them to prayer. I'm not eating anybody, but, 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 but let's talk together. You call them to pray. And, Father, tonight, God, I'm asking you, 
Jesus, I'm asking you, God, uh, they're stumbling, they're fumbling, they're jumbling. They don't even know how to pray. No depth. No depth. There's no depth in their prayer. But these are the persons who find hours to be on technology. So, to the generation that is coming up, we are in no way saying, personally me, and I think Mr. Francis, as old as he is, and all the folks, we're not saying that technology is evil. No, we're not saying that. But we're saying, let us spend time with God. That's right, that's right. Spend time with God. Because if people like Bishop Francis, Pastor Francis, and the older ones sitting here, if we had spent the amount of time you spent on technology, you wouldn't have a church in Dula. You wouldn't have a church in Zion. And so, we want to encourage our generation. First things first. It is very sad that right in church, people are on the phone in church. I, I, I heard uh, Minister Donald spoke about the Bible versus the tablet and our phone. You know, once when they were in church and um, Mother Walters got up and she spoke very plainly and through the Holy Ghost that we notice now in church, everybody is reading the Bible from technology. So I'm not sure if it's, because sometimes we get so technologically advanced that the Bible become old fashioned. Hello? And so, and I believe too, sometimes it seems as if we're embarrassed to open the Bibles. And I want to encourage again the generation of us bring the Bibles to church. Bring your Bibles to church. Read from the Word. Amen. Amen. Because it's important that we understand it's a different thing when you read from a tablet, the Word, as when you read from the pages of the book, which is the Bible. Different feeling. Different feeling. And uh, some folks will tell you, well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And I'm not going to beat you down. I'm not going to fight with you. All I'm saying to you, don't give up the Bible. Don't give up the Bible. Brother Brown spoke about the battle. The fathers then, the only backup they had with them is the Bible and the Word of God in them. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. And so it's important that you have the word in your what? In your heart. A time is going to come when you ain't, you ain't not going to have the time to grab your, your technology. No, no. But when you have the word in your heart, yes. it's a difference. And you know, I, I'm trying to choose my words very much to today because I feel that this generation feel that we're so much against them. Yes, and we're against the way they think and the way they believe, we're not. We're not against you. We're saying to you, if you continue on the path that you're on, you're gonna run into problems. Could you praise him somebody? Praise him somebody. Because who is foremost on your mind and your life is not God. That's right. 
The Bible said after the death of Joshua, there arose a generation that know it not God. It's not that they were not introduced to God, but they didn't know how to fight. And so we, 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 we have helped you to understand that church is more than technology. Church is more than hair and fingernail. Could you praise it somebody? Because it seems as if the church now is just like the world. Amen. It's all about here. Amen. And things you know. Church is more than that. Amen. It's a separated life from sin. Could you praise it somebody? Amen. And the Bible is still right. Amen. The Bible cannot change. The world Thank you. 
coming behind us. And we have a responsibility as senior men and women to demonstrate through the word of God and teach them. And listen, sometimes they don't want to hear what we have to say. And there is sometimes a spirit of rebellion. To the praise God. Well, Mother Brown, I have learned with all the spirit of rebellion, our job is to pray for them. Do you praise them, somebody? Do you all understand me? We are going to pray for them until Christ is forming them. We are going to encourage them. Amen. We're going to speak life into them. Yes. We're going to uplift them. Yes. Amen. Give them a hope that they never even expected. Yes. Right. Amen. Let them understand that, listen, the Bible is still right. Yes. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Amen. We've got to understand, amen, that if we're serving an incomparable God, we have to be different. We have to be different. Amen. If our God can be compared with any other God, so why am I as a child of God being like Jezebel? Because Jezebel don't believe in the God that I serve. No. She does not. And so, as, as, as a child of God, we have to demonstrate what the Word says. He says, come out from among them and be separated. Touch not the unclean things and I will be your God and you shall be my people. Put the praise of God. The church has rules. The church has standards. And, 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 and we notice that in these days, standards are being broken down. And sometimes it is being accepted as the norm. But we have to understand that the word of God remains the same.
things on my life. But movie can't save your marriage. Hello. Movie can't keep your marriage open. But I sure tell you what can. Prayer and fasting can. Could you praise him somebody? Could you praise him somebody? You, you, don't, you don't understand. Could you praise him somebody? Could you praise him somebody? God allowed you to be living together for 36 years, 20 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And that's how you celebrate it? Going to the movie? If any man be in Christ, you praise him. You praise him, somebody. We have got to change the way we operate as church folks. Because God desires truth in the inward part. We can praise God to And so as Christians, let us practice a change life. Yes. Saul, Paul, did not go back to his old ways as Saul. No, sir, no, sir. Did not. And that's why I said for those who are just coming in, it's a warfare. Yes. It's a warfare. Good. Somewhere right there. 
Nice hustler. He's out working hard. You're home watching these shows. <laughs> and you see, I think they not yet, not yet. You watch this girl coming over to the walking guy house. And get on the story. This evening is five minutes late from coming home. Five minutes late. Not ten or five. But because you were sitting watching these shows, your mind start to work. And before you rub his head and kiss him and say, honey, glad to be home. Where are you? The first friend of oh, not now where are you? We're going to Jamaica now. Where you come from? So if your mind is on the, I don't want to sit down. I don't watch it. I'm going to give you a story, a true story. I don't watch these things. When I was younger, I just got saved. Listen to this my testimony. They have a show you call name Santa Barbara. You know how long time that one was? An elder? At that time, I didn't have the Holy Ghost yet. And I worked about 15 minutes from my home, so I could walk to work. From home to work. Every morning, Bishop Francis, I had to watch that show before I go to work. And I couldn't miss it. Because these shows are so designed, addictive, that you must see what's going to come next. Am I right? Yes. And when God gets a hold of me, yeah. the praise God. Yeah. I was addicted to it. So when I'm talking to you, I know what I'm talking about. Yes. God had to release me from the center of the So if you're sitting here today and you're watching these shows, may I ask God to release you from it. It's a spirit of addiction. Yes. It will kill you spiritually. Yes. I'm almost done. There was a sister, a sister, a lady. For my, for my job, my, my second job, sitting in her living room, watching television. You know some of us get very emotional watching television? Oh, yes. My brother, she was in her living room, and she was watching this show. I wasn't there. I was still